Okay, I just thought I'd do an update on my radio. Um, I basically dropped the uh, potentiometer I had in here for a rotary encoder. Uh, I'll show you now why. And then I kept this one still a normal potentiometer uh, for the volume selection. So basically what I wanted to add was a menu function. I didn't want a traditional um, tuning knob uh, for the actual tuner, I thought I'd rather go for a menu system purely because it is an internet radio and um, you're not going to be seeking for channels, you're going to kind of know what you have pre programmed. So the volume knob obviously still turns all the way to 100% and back again to zero. Um, then I have my VHF currently selected, which is will play one of my sets, and then manual tuning selector is currently set. So now with the menu option, what you have is if you bring up, it'll now show you a list of all your stations uh, available. I've only got 11 programs at the moment, basically all the BBC channels. Um, so basically BBC One all the way through to their world services. So if I, for example, select BBC Five Live and I press on the knob, it is playing, sorry. <laughs> at the moment needs to get alive increase the volume because leicester is on the map the people of leicester are for multicultural city mm -hmm. and leicester and if we riders want to have to listen to something to else we just scroll leicester, through the, the menu so we're going to listen to the news in 2014 was a party of the 21st century that advances now the normal the favorites will still work so radio one BBC or two and notice the menu right will not come up now and then an until egg. I select so the manual selector again which will then pop up the menu and I can pick what I want to listen to really so that's basically why I chose rather rotary encoder over a potentiometer and one percent 